Afternoon YouTubers, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. There was a magnitude 5.5 earthquake there by Meadows Lake, Alaska. A USGS said it was 15.8 uh, miles in depth. They lowered the magnitude. They said it was originally a 5.2 to a 4.8 and now they're saying it's a 4.6. And you can see there's a lot of shaking going on in this area. Let me pull it over. Yeah, they're saying it's 4.6 now, but I come up with a, a magnitude 5.5. The most recent was a magnitude 1.4. Going to Google Earth, here's location right along the foothills of these uh, mountains mountain building going on there is the spectrogram for that earthquake and yeah there was another little one afterwards right there i have not done the magnitude on that but this one i did let me bring it down so i can see it show you it'll say at the bottom md 5.54 and there was quite a few little foreshocks that i noticed let me pull this back up. Yeah, we got one right there. And, well, that's another aftershock right here. But um, for four shocks, let me pull it over. Yeah, we got one there. And one right there. And then up over here, you'll notice these wavy lines. All right, they went up too far. Let me pull this up for you. These are the um, two earthquakes. Um, this one here was Japan. And this one here, or do I have it backwards? Chile. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, the second one was Chile. This first one was Japan. And let me pull it over here because there's a little shaker here right there that's from chile it shook up yeah um the magma there all the way up to alaska isn't that something and let me go to the seismic um, seismic signature yeah see it's all rounded all rounded yeah surprising that it did that i'm not surprised with japan but i do not see a uh actual seismic wave like it shows from Chile here for um, Japan the earthquake that occurred in Japan yeah and it didn't shake up the magma like the one in Chile did interesting two monitors I downloaded the one here on the left is SAW and the one on the right is GHO oh we got another one marked in red right there uh, 1301 they're not reporting that one and it's on both monitors is that where it's at nope let's try there nope where's it at oh there it is okay 1301 and let me pull it up and we'll go to the seismic signature how could they miss that one hmm that one comes in as a magnitude 2.16 this is gho i'll show you where this monitor is at We'll go back to the seismic signature. Let's see. Let's pull it. All right. Let me bring it over a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Probably going to have another volcano somewhere erupting. All right. I believe this is. Nope. That's not it. Maybe it's this one. Let me go over here. Yeah. That's the one that I got to work. Yeah. I couldn't get um, Palmer to work. And I couldn't get this one to work either. But this one I did get to work. And it's closest to the area um, where the earthquakes occurred. The other one is off over here. I believe this one here that I got to work. So that would be at least 10 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Seeing how they missed that one. And there's other really small ones too which were not reported but here on emsc you can see it was a 4.8 that they reported um says it was a big jolt 
Um, hit hard, Willow, Alaska. One strong shock. That was uh, 23 kilometers southwest. So that would be about 14 miles southwest. Um, another one says Rolling Shaker. Uh, 4 point, or 5.2. Yeah, originally USGS said it was a 5.2. Woke me out of my sleep. 5.2. Um, Wasilla Fish Hook woke me and my pup 29 kilometers south. That would be about 18 miles. Now, close to the same location. Oops, I went up to, went down. Um, felt a drop, then a hard jerk. Heard a loud pop in the jerk phase. Another one says it was a violent slam. Most of the reports came from down south. I'll show you the uh, felt reports that were sit, sent in to uh, USGS. This one here says sitting on the bed, it jerked side to side. House creaked. Nothing fell or broke. They're probably earthquake prepared. This one here says it lasted about five seconds. Pretty good shake. Nothing concerning. Okay, we felt a jerk and then heard glasses rattle. Um, big lake shake. A small earthquake. Big jolt. Um, heard the TV on wall mount rattle. Then felt a roll. See, they're earthquake pre pre prepared. Boy, getting all tongue-tied there. Um, yeah, they got the TV mounted to the wall. Smart people. Um, pretty good shaker versus roller this time. This one said they felt a couple of good shakes. Another one said, heard it before we felt it. Stronger shake for a few seconds, then faded out pretty quick. Maybe 10 seconds of shaking in total. Okay, another one. Uh, woke up to the bed knocking against the wall and heard the rattling and shaking of other things, uh, must be of other things in the room. Good rattle of dishes. Lots of sound with this one. Yeah. As I was saying, most of the reports came from um, the south, and that's probably because of the population but here we got uh doesn't give me a name up there towards the north intensity level three and three let's see over here four another one four another one four another one four which would mean it was felt indoors by many people outdoors by a few at night, some may have been woken up. Well, we got reports that it woke a lot of people up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles rocking noticeably. Here's the image of the live stream, what it's currently showing. And it is uh, 2.48 p.m. This earthquake occurred at um, 11.43 a.m. Let's look at this little aftershock here. Oops, I have to make it bigger because it shrunk on me. Okay, this is 1818. All right, I goofed up on the time. This was 1043. And this one oh, it went small again. Bear with me. Would have been 1118 local time. They're saying that is a magnitude 1.4. So let's, oops, let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Probably go right there. Oh, yeah, it was bigger. Even if I cut it off over here. Okay, let me go back. Which is way too short. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right. Right. Let me go back. Right there. Um it comes in as a one point nine two. Yeah, you see that at the bottom, 1.92. And we'll go back to the seismic signature. Yeah, see, I ended it right there where it started to go flat. Got another one over here. Let me pull it over. 
and that one would be 1832. They're saying a 1.7, 21.9 miles. I'm probably ending it too soon because you can see it was still rattling. Um, I'm going to do it right. Okay, it was still rattling. I'm going to put it, let me pull this up so I can see the spectrogram. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. And we'll go back to the seismic signature. You see, it was still, it was still rattling. And that comes in as a magnitude 2.16. You see that? Let me pull it down a little bit farther. 2.16. It might have rattled a little bit longer. Here you can see the uh, gases that came up with it. Yeah. And if I end it before all the gases stopped, it still comes up as a magnitude 1.98. I'll bring it there. Yeah, not no um, 1.7. They're saying it's a 1.7, but I get a 1.98. I'll pull it over a little. Oops, went too far. You see where I ended it. Most of the gases were here, but probably should have ended it right there. But yeah, not going to split hairs over it, as they say. <laughs> okay, supposed to be another one in there. At 1917, let's see if we can find it. 1908, 11. Um, okay, yeah, I, oh, right there. Okay. And there's the spectrogram. So let's go there and probably right there. And it comes in as a 1.98. And the reason I did that, they probably didn't see this, how it was a little popping right there. Let me close that. And it's, nope, that ain't it. I'm in the wrong spot. Okay. Yeah. So it just kind of built up to a larger earthquake. Got a little popping there. And it just kind of like went on with maybe like a quiet earthquake. And then it just let loose right there. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Um, well, let's pull that little spot there. Yeah, harmonic tremors or quiet tremors, if you want to call that. And I'll have to go back to make it smaller. And we'll pull this right through here. Okay. Yeah. I'll look over here how it's all rounded. Yeah. Yeah. With so many foreshocks before this. Yeah, I wonder if you guys have got something bigger coming. Yeah, over there. Now, again, that was the earthquake in Chile that shook up, um, yeah, Alaska. And then we got another one there. And that one's marked in red and they have not reported it. Just kind of doing a recap. And then we got another one here. And another one there. And another one there. And it keeps getting smaller and smaller. And then this one was before the earthquake at 1720. That one was more southeast. Um, and that became, um, was definitely before the, uh, um, magnitude 5.5, .5, which they're saying is a 4.6. They're saying that was a, a 2.6, 19.5 miles below sea level. And then the next one was a 1.5. That's there in the peninsula. You can see Anchorage there. But I come up with a 2.74 for that foreshock. I guess you could, I would call, consider it a foreshock. Yeah. And I ended it right there because, see, we still had a lot of gases coming up. And then it kind of settled down. That's where I ended it. Yeah, it looks like that earthquake in Chile. Yeah, that one started it all. Let me bring this up. Yeah, because you can see the magma that was sloshing around. 
So did you feel this earthquake? Did you have any damage? Um, if so, let me know. Be prepared for a larger one. You could have a larger one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate all of you that um, have subscribed and shared my video and um, yeah, donated. Um, yeah, God bless you guys. And um, for thumbs up my videos. Yeah, for doing that, it helps with the uh, AI on YouTube. Anyways, uh, yeah, put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching again. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.